Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time I want to start with an announcement for my Patreon. So right now I want to turn you into a master of the Pyro engine in Cinema 4D. This is why I create different courses, for example the Pyro Basics part 1 and 2 or the Smoke Laboratory part 1, 2, 3, where I teach you in this well-structured courses everything that I know about the Pyro engine, about smoke and fire and I just want to give you a really good learning experience there where you have fun to learn this amazing amazing tool where you just have a good time and master the pyro engine all right of course i have to say at the same time there is also some good free training here on youtube so of course school of motion did a very great job here to explain the pyro basics or for example this colorful ink fluid sims they are just amazing chris schmidt of course is also a legend in explaining that stuff but i think some of the training here on youtube especially from the maxon training team could be a little bit better structured all right so i definitely learned some good stuff from this one part one two and three from the max of training team but i felt like it was a little bit not to the point and could be a bit more entertaining and the audio quality and everything i didn't felt that super satisfied with it i have to say i have to be honest i also watched the ask the trainer lessons here from the max on training team and learned some good stuff about pyro and i definitely will take this knowledge into lessons that i share on my patreon okay so quite some good knowledge but as i said the learning is experience here was a bit exhausting. I think it is just not that entertaining. I'm sorry Maxon, you know I love you and I respect all the Maxon trainers here. They are just amazing. Noseman, he is just a machine of wisdom. He knows everything, all right? But maybe there's also a place for me and my approach of teaching. So if you really want to have some cool well-structured courses, my Patreon could be the right place for you. So I just released this course, this course and definitely today and the next days and weeks I will continue to focus myself on pyro and share the wisdom with you on my patreon also on youtube of course there will be free lessons but you can definitely do me a big favor if you try out my patreon free the bonfire you can sign in for the free trial for seven days and just cancel it before it will turn into a monthly membership after seven days if you are not satisfied but maybe you are super satisfied and just have the best days of your life so far all right then of course you should try the monthly subscription all right and just learn something about pyro and master pyro together with me the next days and weeks and let's just become absolute pyro masters machines experts together all right that would be just amazing also of course i will be more than thankful when you follow me here on youtube ring the bell do the good stuff write a comment and you can also check me out on instagram if you want to see my latest artworks but other than that i think we should also dive into cinema 4d now and share just a little bit of the knowledge here also on youtube so let's just have a little bit of fun here this will be very short but i promise in the next days i will also upload the free lesson here on youtube where you can learn a bit more okay and definitely more pyro lessons will be on my patreon but now let's start here on youtube and i think for today i just want to talk about the pyro volume shader here so what you can see in the viewport you can't directly see in your redshift render view right this is annoying and you ask yourself hey what am i doing wrong here and of course this is not so complicated so just go to materials put the pyro volume on to your pyro output and then wait a second maybe two seconds all right and there you go you already have a beautiful fire and smoke simulation here i think i already tweaked a little bit of the settings here so when you go into the render settings redshift go to advanced and then probably go to globals then you can see i cranked up the volumes from the basic value of one up to two for example and you can see now this looks just a little bit less realistic but you can help the volume shader when you put this one to two then more of the light rays can bounce around in the volume you basically just get extra light bounces in your volume and i think this is just a good idea to crank this number up if you want to have something realistic that just feels better all right i mean you could also go to free and stuff like that but then you also would have to adjust the shader and the light again because now i think it is getting overly too bright so i will stick to a value of two this is totally fine for me and this will just help you if you want to have a little bit of extra realism in your volumes all right let's also quickly go into the pyro shader here and i don't want to talk too much in depth here about the shader because i did that in the pyro basics lessons on my patreon but let me just tell you that if you want to for example only see the fire then you could get rid of the absorption here put this one to zero now you will have a fire which is overly bright i have to admit so let's put this one to 5000 for example in the emission temperature now you get more details in your fire it looks amazing it looks realistic super hot 
out and stuff. You could decrease this to 3000. Now your fire will lose more and more temperature. It, it will get less energetic and you just get a less saturated intense look. Okay. So I think I want to put this one back to 5000 again, but maybe you want to have a colorful fire, something maybe bluish. All right. Therefore, I will put this one to a color ramp. Now this looks pretty ugly. So you definitely have to clamp this just a little bit until you have something that you prefer maybe around here that looks way better and now put the white for example to something blue purplish something like that and there you will already have your magic fire something like that this is looking also pretty amazing i think you can also decrease the intensity of it by the scale value so when i put this one to half then you will basically suck out the energy of this colorful fire okay that still looks amazing put this one to 0 0.1 and yeah it's just up to you to play with this one and of course now you could put the absorption back into the mix all right still looking awesome and just don't forget that you should always keep in mind when you work with fire and volumes then it is very important to also play with the light for example so i have this light back here when i will move this one over there to the side then now you can see some different highlights here in the smoke and it will help you to just sculpt the look of your volume with light all right so i put this one to 30 to see this side better and of course you can also mix some color light into the mix all right all right this is looking pretty cool and now nothing is holding you back from creating all kinds of crazy looks for your smoke okay so i would say let's make a cut here and this was just a very short lesson next one will be longer i promise this to you and i just wish you a wonderful day be powerful be prolific feel awesome bye everyone